Hello, my name is Jack, and I am the co-director of Creative Encounters with Science, a nonprofit organization run out of the University of Guelph. And today for Royal City Science Week, we're going to celebrate the International Day of Human Spaceflight by making chemical reaction rockets. Let's do it. This activity is fun for the whole family, and all you need is a couple things you probably have lying around the house. So now we're going to duct tape our three pencils to the side to make our stand. And make sure you put it on nice and tight so it doesn't break off when we launch it. And there's three important things to keep in mind here. Make sure each pencil is an equal distance apart and there's enough room for the cork to go in there without it hitting the ground and all the pencils go down to the same length. So when you put it down, it stands up. And now for our rocket fuel. First, we're going to put the vinegar in our rocket, and now we're going to fill it up to almost halfway. So if you're inside, make sure you use a funnel. Easy does it. And that should right about do it. So like I said, any size plastic bottle works, but how much baking soda you use depends on how big your bottle is. So I have a one liter lemon juice bottle here, so I'll need two tablespoons of baking soda. If you used a 500 milliliter bottle, you only need one tablespoon. But if you used a big two liter pop bottle, then you'll need three tablespoons. So I'm going to pour my two tablespoons right in the center here. There's one, And a little more than that, here's two. So now this is the important part. Just like we're making a burrito, we are going to roll the sides just like that, pushing the baking soda right into the center. So now that we've made our burrito right here, to keep the, the baking soda or rocket fuel locked in, we're gonna twist each end just like this and make sure you twist each side nice and tight so a chemical reaction is what's going to make our rocket launch here i have vinegar which is an acid and baking soda which is a base when they react carbon dioxide gas is going to form and build up pressure inside of the rocket eventually causing the cork to pop out and the rocket to launch so for this awesome experiment, make sure you find a safe place to launch your rocket outside and always have parent supervision. So as rocket scientists, it's always important that we learn from our mistakes. And it turns out it's pretty important to have a sturdy stand. So we added more duct tape. Ah, no! <laughs> and also as rocket scientists, it's always important that we look out for our own safety. So get some eye protection that could be lab goggles, sunglasses, or any glasses to keep ourselves protected. All right, so now it's time to launch our rocket. So let's get our baking soda and make sure it's nice and tight on either side. That's really, really, really important. And then once we know if it's, if it's nice and tight, we're gonna hold it just like this and dip the bottom right into our rocket. So now we're not gonna let go, we're gonna pinch it right here. We're going to get our cork and we're going to jam it in just like that and make sure it's as tight as you can get it. Kind of like that. And now we're gonna make sure our stand is very, very sturdy. And now it's time to flip our rocket. So, we're gonna go, we're gonna shake it and blast off. Three, two, one.
is a chemical reaction rocket. We are creative encounters with science. Happy International Day of Space Flight and Royal City Science Week. Thank you for joining us. <laughs>